Hi there, this is Eitan and today I'm going to make a review on GTK knife, which is Grind Tactical Knives, knives that made in France by a custom knife maker named Thomas Goni. Uh, I'm not a French speaker, not a native English speaker, so you have to excuse me. I hope I'm pronouncing his name right and I'm not doing uh, anything uh, to insult. Uh, if I do so, I'm sorry in advance. Um, Thomas Guni uh, making knives from 2016 is around his 30s and he started to um, uh, grow in his uh, activity in the past years. Uh, we can see it uh, in uh, his social media activity and uh, also by knives he's making. Here in Israel I received this knife from uh, Mr. Daniel, he's uh, a collector of him, he has several knives and he gave me this one and he gave me another one. Now I'm, I'm going to show you the knife and I'm going to add another uh, information, important information detail on Mr. Uh, Goni because it's something that uh, really affect uh, on, the, on the matter. This is what we see, a front flipper, liner, uh, with liner lock, um, very astonishing, with Chad Nicholas Timascus, uh, special carbon fiber or something, they call it fat carbon or something like that, RWL34 blade, and as you see, it seems really, really, really well made. Now, uh, this knife and this model uh, is a custom knife, okay? But Thomas Guni, uh, he, have, he have a condition uh, which have a neurological disease. Uh, I read that uh, it's related to his uh, neural system, uh, nerve system, which uh, makes his uh, muscles deteriorating, if I'm saying that uh, right. So he's uh, disabled in a wheelchair and he doesn't have a lot of, um, you know, he can't uh, apply forces um, um, uh, average person at his age, okay, in his hands or, or, or legs. And he makes this. And this is amazing. It shows you something about the human ability, but this is something that you need to take under consideration even if you're cynical and said, I don't care, I just judge by, by the product, which is okay. But this detail is important because this is something that he makes and uh, there are a lot of other people in this world who makes knife and I don't see them get to that uh, level of detail. Now, let's dive into the overview and start with the size comparison. Uh, this uh, model, by the way, is called the uh, uh, Holotac. Holotac. Right, because they have the spear tack, which I have it, it's Holotac, yeah. Small Holotac. Okay, so this is near uh, Code 4. As you see, um, Code 4 is bigger. Uh, blade size, not that different, but the handle is what uh, affects it most. This is another small knife called the Police <laughs> Ford. <laughs> well, one of my favorites, as you see, um, you can hide the, the whole attack inside the Police Four. But let's see it near another biggie, which is my uh, XM24. Also, as you see, you can hide it inside, even in height. Let's see it, another, the gold standard of uh, knife comparison, the PM2. Well, the PM2, as you said, they have a very similar blade uh, uh, size, uh, but uh, the PM2 have a curved blade, so it can have more cutting, uh, cutting uh, length. But uh, as total length, it's not that different. And buck 110, should I put the buck 110? In, uh, knife, in, in size comparison, is it relevant? I think it is. Uh, as you see, as the back one, then uh, the blade length is indeed um, shorter significantly. Okay, let's go and check Mr. Ruler. So the blade thickness is three millimeters, I checked it, and the width is around uh, nine millimeters. I know in English, most people 
talking in, in inches, it's hard to me, because, but uh, I've brought Mr. Ruler here, and as you see, the blade length is around 3 point... 3... a bit, a bit more than 3 inches of blade length. And, th and thickness over here it's like a quarter inch i don't know how a bit more than a quarter 516 is it correct i'm saying that correctly no 516 is yeah maybe okay uh, i'm confused never mind anyhow let's start with the review with the overview itself well the blade the blade itself is ground very very efficiently why is that because it's like a um, uh, razor blade okay it's have a very very pronounced hollow ground over here and it's remind me of a oh what a white oh better of a nice straight razor it's the steel the blade steel is rwl 34 which is very easy to sharp now most m most knife users when they choose rw34 they like to polish it like Lee Lerman, he used it a lot, and Dama Steel, because he liked to <coughs> get a nice mirror polish with it, and a mirror polish, high mirror po polish, it's hard to get, but uh, Mr. Goni, he chose to make an uh, acid wash and then stone wash it, which is very interesting uh, choice to do with RWL34. Uh, it's very simple to sharpen, it's not that, you know, it's not like the S110, um, V or the ZDP 189 or you know other uh, high uh, wear resistant steels it's simple to to sharpen and uh, uh, it, it holds edge very very well this one slices through cardboard and stuff like that like laser beam uh, I had the ability to test it uh, it has over here this uh, hole which you can open it very very oops sorry very very simply the detent is great and uh, you can also have this pronounced front flipper and i'm bad with front flipper and this model is very very easy to use to non front flipper people it's very fun over here he has a uh, gentle jimping it's not too aggressive but it's aggressive enough to catch and his uh, logo over here and the blade itself is straight but if you look very carefully you see a bit a bit a bit hair of belly uh, the ground is uh, very very high uh, you have over here sharpening choil and all those angles which i'll get to them later uh, as you see here very very nice angles the handle itself is also very beautiful they he uses over here what he called fat carbon or no it's any and it's highly polished it's very th smooth this surface is made of carbon and it, it cost me uh, it wasn't cheap and it, it's not as smooth as this part and you see the pattern here is different and you have inlays and pocket clip and backspacer all of Chad Nicholas Taimascus uh, seem to fit very very well fit, fit, fit and finish uh, later the handle here have many many um, angles over here sharp angles and over here it's it's more flowing uh, uh, sharp angles uh, I don't mean it as uh, it's it's not smooth to the touch because it's very very smooth I mean you know it's like a cyberpunky futuristic uh, style uh, you have it here and it's very very fun to hold pocket clip um, very very simple and nice very smooth to the touch titanium screws and pivot screw uh, all anodized over here we have titanium liners uh, the 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 bearing system and the detent are ceramic uh, the fit and finish over here it's amazing really everything here is smooth to the touch fun uh, uh, no i'll zoom in a bit it's very very smooth uh, the fit is excellent all those squares are look like perfectly aligned and you see no seam line it's 
seem like inserted very well over here everything is on spot on point well made over here you have a bit of a I think I need to clean it up yeah I need to clean it sorry my bad but as you see it's very just a second too much light oh it's very very uh, nice wait a second I'm playing with the light over here just because I'm zooming in it's an iPhone okay you can uh, see for your own eyes really highly mad the lockup is solid ladies centered now what I really like about this knife this is a custom knife it cost around nine 950 euros and he has um, a knife from uh, Mr. Goni cost around several hundreds of euros okay and it's a custom knife and, and this is the price okay now what I like about this model is that look how the blade is really really uh, fit in with the entire shape of the knife uh, if I'll cast a <coughs> if I'll paint it all in black and look at the shadow you see like something like a, this shape seem a bit symmetric only this one is uh, this uh, uh, flipper tab is outside and it seemed like the handle talks with the blade uh, everything is really completing each other okay with the angle and and the shapes and and, and it's really awesome awesome and the only thing that breaks it it's a bit this the shape of the clip which is around a bit the pivot and over here this uh, hand uh, finger groove that's it everything else is seem like the angles are talking to each other one of the most beautiful parts of this knife is this part and why is that because if you can see the 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 linear hole over here it's really just a second trying to zoom in look it's finish when the it meets the the liner okay you see it meets it over here if i can pass a very very small thread or needle they it can hold this with this with this it's like an axis it's like a imaginary axis and it's very beautiful I think look at that and the gap and the blade goes inside with its all grind it's really cool really I like how he made it, it seemed like a claw or something like that really really well made well made sorry so let me show you another knife of uh, Mr. Thomas Gumi. Over here we have the uh, Spear Tack. This one called Deadpool. Uh, custom order by uh, Daniel. He also lent it uh, to me. Yeah, you see it's a bigger blade a bit. Uh, it's earlier model uh, he made and looks a bit similar uh, to the uh, Holotech. Now the one thing that uh, bothered me in uh, Mr. Gumi knives are the pocket clips over here the 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 inside of the of the pocket of its straight angle so if, if you wear a jeans or any uh, any pocket with you know uh, where it has a thick uh, the outer part is a bit thick it will get stuck in there and it's annoying so i think you can make an angle and it will be great because this knife it's not pocket shredder but uh, the only thing that annoys is this part so what is the bottom line the bottom line i think this is a really really um, promising uh, knife maker it's amazing that uh, he makes those knives uh, and it shows a lot of his uh, abilities they are beautiful knives custom knives well made uh, for several hundred euros i see over here some uh, uh, production knives with uh, a lot of hype around them that uh, cost around the same and I think maybe 
you can order a custom knife instead of you know a production knife uh, there is something special in custom by the way uh, Thomas uh, sometimes uh, he puts Easter eggs some uh, engravings or stuff like that in his knife that only the owner uh, who ordered a knife knows so it's also something personal and it adds uh, a lot to the to the ex to the experience of uh, buying a, a custom knife so uh, I recommend you to follow Mr. Uh, Goni and see what else he will make this is his uh, small uh, hole tuck a really 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 nice piece of art uh, as you see I didn't get into the hard use not hard use it's a custom knife you can order it however you would like it to be this one obvious it's for EDC light EDC light use not going into the woods and uh, hunting games and uh, skinning that's it so I hope you enjoyed it uh, I hope you'll take a look on his knives I, I'm really impressed usually I uh, cover production knives and stuff like that and have a uh, great holidays it's gonna be Christmas soon, right? Hanukkah here. Bye.